guys and welcome back. If you just join me, then hi, my name is Maggie. And if you just and if you're coming back, then thank you for coming back and watching me do crap videos. Because let's face it, I am not the best in doing any videos for YouTube. I am lacking. But uh, anyway, for today's video, I am doing a full face. Well, I say full face, apart from the eyeshadow because I couldn't, didn't pick up pick up any eyeshadow from Poundland. I am doing a makeup full me face of makeup all. Practically everything from Poundland. So the first thing first, I know this isn't exactly from Poundland, but it's my favourite. It's the primer, um, I Heart Revolution Coconut Dream, which I always use primer for my skin first. And I couldn't see any in Poundland when I went to go and pick when I pick these up. So you know, I am going to cheat a little bit here, but there we are. So I'll just pop this all over the face. This smells mm, delicious. I'm a sucker for anything that's got coconut in and in in in, in 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 any way. But yeah. It's alright, I have to pick it up and I love it. Um my sponge it is from Poundland. <coughs> um which I have you can get a pack of three just wet that and then my foundation I picked pick, picked it up in the colour rose beige it looks like that it might be a little bit on the peachy side for my skin but we shall work with it so just dab it all over all over my skin and then just blend it in it doesn't look too bad but uh, I'm not exactly sure on let's, let's put a bit more on Because you know, I can all you can always blend it out anyway. <sighs> so just you know, blend it out. It does. It does. It, I, I don't know. Whether it's just me, but it's just like kind of like just sitting on my sponge. Oh, God, let's uh, have I got another sponge here? Yes, <laughs> just start using another sponge because it's just gone everywhere all over the other sponge. But just maybe it's just that, that me. I put too much product on. I don't know. Probably. But it doesn't blend out that well. So but hmm. Next up, I got the concealer, the Hide and Hide and Chic concealer in. Uh, doesn't actually say what colour. It looks like that. It comes in like a thing, and it it is quite light. So. Taking a little, a smaller little, and just and as you can see, it is really, really light. So I don't know if it's going to be too light for me. But obviously, with with all the COVID, the COVID situation and stuff, you can't exactly go in and test any product. So it's just like a, an eyeballing kind of game, which 
I have tried my best to and then anywhere else you might need to just dab it over it says matte over the it's long lasting foundation foundation but for me I'm not a fan of that at all it doesn't give me any it hasn't done anything for coverage it hasn't covered anything at all for me personally so I'm not a hundred percent of a fan next I'm taking the um, smoothly smoothly does a press powder in translucent translucent one and then just using this to oh crap there's loads of fallout guys Extra, a lot of fallout actually just to set the base of the foundation <clears throat> next I didn't actually get any from um eye eyeshadow because I couldn't see any any way that I liked so I am cheating a little bit and I am going to use the I Heart Revolution Unicorn palette and I am going to go for this purple just all over the lid and then take the darker okay this is not going well the darker one is kind of more pinky so I'm just going to kind of just like going, oh crap, just got black on all my days, what's going on? <sighs> just going to have to work with this now. This has completely ruined everything. Wipe it off with your finger, it's fine. Just make sure you got a clean brush. Jesus Christ. And then with that. Just. And then with a clean fluffy brush, just blend that out. And then take the other white shade and then just pop it on as a highlight of your brow. Right, I'm going to go in to quickly do the other eye on the off camera and I'll be back. Right, we're back now guys. I've just done the other eye off camera. Um, as you can see, it's kind of just looks like I got to some people, some percentages, just looks like somebody's punched me in the eyeball, but we'll just roll with it because, you yeah. know. Right, for the brows, I am going to use this um, Slay the Brow, again, from Poundland, just to try and do, try and save this look. But I have tried this one before, and I have done it in a different video, and I, do, I am impressed with this, considering it's a pound. It... It is quite good, you know. As you can see, it does me does cut the color. This one is in blonde. It does, but it it does it is. I think it's quite on the dark side, considering it's supposed to be for like a a blonde color. But it.
As you can see, it does. I am impressed with this one, guys. This is this one I am quite impressed with. So, <clears throat> and then just take. Oh my day! I'm dropping everything. Everything's going everywhere. And then just take an eyebrow. brush comb thing and then just make sure it's cover you know you get even coverage I suppose you could take a comb as well and like comb it up um, but yeah uh, again because I didn't pick up any liquid eyeliner and I always use liquid eyeliner on the top of my lashes. I am going to use the Rimmel. So again, I am cheating. So it's not really a full face as such, but the majority of the makeup is from Fangland. So apart from the eyes and the liquid liner. So... Just like that. Because I always use... I always use a, a liquid eyeliner on, on the top of my lashes anyway. And again, when I went to pick, when I picked all these up, there wasn't any in my Poundland that I went to. I think I went, which one did I go to? I think I went to the one in Forestvach in, yeah, the Forestvach in Swansea is the one that I went to when I picked up all these up and they didn't have quite, they didn't exactly have everything that I would normally have picked up. But um, I'm just using the, the black eye, um, eyeliner in core like thing. Again, it's not actually it's not actually doing anything. It's not actually coming out. I mean, you've really got to like like really colour your lash your I mean you read the bottom so it looks more uniformed but mm, so far yeah but um mascara I I I both they turn up the volume and define lash uh mascara in black ultra uh, Oh, and it's waterproof. I did not know that. I didn't actually look at the bottle when I when I picked it up. So I mean, it does do something to to the lash lashes, but. I mean, on the lower lashes, it's like clumping together. So, but I mean, for a pound, you know, you can't really expect a lot for your money. I mean, it is doing something to my lashes, as you can see, but, you know, it is kind of giving them some sort of definition, but. I mean, I just put one coat on. And as you can see, it. I mean, I'm not overly impressed so far what, what I bought but for a pound I suppose you can't really you can't really complain. Uh for the blusher I bought the dual blush <laughs> um in just matte one which looks like that. So I'm going to try and mix the two together. I mean you could use them individually but I just prefer
it <laughs> quite pigmented. I wasn't expecting that at all. And I mean, it's really, actually, it's really pigmented. I was not expecting this. So I suppose if you like take a bigger brush, a uh, blush brush, I suppose if you just kind of try to blend it out, it will look more subtle. But I might have put, put, put a lot more powder on than what I was doing. But again, I wasn't expecting it to be so pigmented. And then for lips, I didn't pick up any lip liner, but I did pick up this lipstick is really dark and it looks like that. It's in the colour Oslo, which I normally do. I quite like the dark lipsticks and stuff, but initially I did pick it up around for Halloween, but I never got around to doing anything for Halloween. So here I am now. And then... I mean, it's not as dark as what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be super, super dark, but it's not that dark. But I quite like dark lipsticks anyway. And that is the finished look. Overall, guys, as you can see in the thing, it's quite... I don't know if I do it, if I do it in the... It's even better. In the daylight that is what the finished look looks like as you can see my, my other thing's quite bright with here in in here um as you can see the blusher is quite pigmented and i didn't expect it to be that pigmented to be honest the eyes <laughs> mascara it's a bit um, take it or leave it for me the eye eyeliner definitely is a big best for me i did not like it at all you have to like really work it for to get a colour, which mm -mm, it's not for me. The foundation, again, not really a big fan. It, it took a while to blend it out, and I'm not really a big fan of that. So that is again is a big do new for me. But overall, for a pound, I mean, I suppose you can't really go wrong. I mean, if you're in a big of a jam and you're on a night out, then go ahead by all means try and use it. But that is it for me i hope you enjoyed this video if you do give it a thumbs up and hit the like button hit the subscribe button i will be doing another video using uh doing pangland video